So I want to talk about personal labels because this is a new feature that I think is really useful to help end users organize, track, and find records quickly and easily. But I feel like it's something that's kind of gone under the radar a little bit. I haven't seen a lot of people talk about it. I haven't seen many videos about it. And I think it's something that deserves a little bit more attention. So in this video, we're going to cover what personal labels are. I'm going to take you through some use cases that I think could benefit from personal labels. And then I'm going to show you how to set them up. So the concept of labels is not new. You probably would have seen this in many different apps that you use. You essentially just create a label and then you attach it to something. And that way you can just click or search for that label and see everything that is related to it. In Salesforce, this works exactly the same way. But the difference here is that with personal labels, Salesforce is empowering the end users directly to take control and organize their records. Whereas with other solutions that we're more familiar with or that have been around longer, it's generally something that the admin would set up that would apply for the entire org. But with personal labels, each end user can set this up in their own preferred way. On top of that, any records that you might create and assign to a label won't be visible to any other user. So let me give you an example. Say that I have a personal label called red accounts and I add some accounts to this label. Now you, my colleague and another end user in our org might not even have a label called red accounts. And even if you did, your red accounts label might be related to different accounts than mine. And that's the point of it. Each end user is empowered to take control of their own labels and relate it to whatever records they want. Another great benefit of using personal labels is that you can see different object records all in a single view. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. But before we get into the demo, I just want to go through a few use cases of why you might want to use personal labels. That way, if you think it's not quite what you're looking for, you don't have to watch the rest of the video. So here's the first use case that I want to talk about. Say that you work a lot with different contacts in Salesforce and you often have to speak to them to try and generate sales or whatever it might be. Now, during your conversation with these contacts, you might learn some things about that individual's interest. Say, for example, you're speaking to someone who is a big fan of F1. And so next time you call them, you want to make sure that you bring that up just to kind of start the conversation, maybe break the ice and get some brownie points. So you might want to create a personal label called F1 fan and you can tag it with that contact record. And that way, next time you call that person, you can tell them how, yeah, Max won another race again. So... Another example might be to categorize accounts based on region. Perhaps you have different regions that you deal with and you want to make sure that the accounts are labeled correctly based on all of these regions. And so you could easily find all the accounts in a specific region by simply looking at the label for that region. A third example could be accounts or contacts or individuals who need special considerations, whatever those considerations might be, you could create a label for that either broadly as special considerations or more specific. Now, here is a interesting use case. Say that you are someone who works from home, like most of us these days, but every now and then you have to make that awful commute to the office. And because you're going to the office, you might as well take the opportunity and meet up with some of your key contacts that are near your office in the city. Now, in order to find all the contacts that are near the office with ease, you could create a label called near work office, and you could add it to all of those individuals who perhaps are near your office. 
And that way, before you go to the office and suffer through that commute, you could just look at that label, get a single view of everybody who is near the office. Now, these are just a few of many use cases where personal labels could be useful. But the important thing to remember here is that it is personal. You can't see my labels. I can't see your labels. You can't see which records I relate to any of my labels and vice versa. This is 100% personal and it's intended to be that way. It's not intended to be something that you create and share with the organization or with your team or with your department. It is intended to be directed to the end user alone. And so you have full control of it. If you delete a label that have records assigned to it, nothing happens. You simply delete that label and all those records will lose that label relationship. But other than that, there are no other impacts. It's supposed to be quick and easy. So if you think this is the kind of information you're looking for, let's jump into Salesforce and let me show you how to set it up. Okay, so here we are in Salesforce and to access labels, you wanna to go to your app launcher and search for labels. Now, once you do this, you're gonna to get to this object here and you might wanna change your list view from recently viewed to all my record labels, just so you can see everything. Obviously, you're not gonna have anything yet, but you can see that I have got a couple here. Now we're gonna create some labels together. So on the right hand side, we're gonna click new. And I kind of like that idea of um, tagging contacts that are near the work office. So we're gonna do that, near work office. That's what I'm gonna call my label. And then I'm gonna hit save. And you can see that we've got two tabs here, assign records at the moment it's zero. And then we have details. Now we only have a single field here. That's how easy it is. There's nothing else to fill out. And for all you admins and consultants out there who are wondering, great, I can add new custom fields here. Here's something to note. I try to do this. I go to the object manager, fields and relationships. But when I click new, I get this error. I'm not really sure why. I don't know if this is intended or if this is just a bug, but at the moment, it seems like we can add new fields. So anyway, we'll go back to our label. And so there are different ways that you can assign labels to different records. One way that you could do this is simply by going into the label record and then click assign label. This is going to allow you to select different objects. And then within that, you can search for the records. So let's say that I wanna assign the near work office label to Anna Green. I'll just do this and hit save. Now I do have to refresh my page for that to be reflected on this component. But now you can see that Anna Green has the near work office label. So if I go to her personal account, we can see that she has two labels. In fact, one is called near work office. The other one is called green flag. And this is just something that I had done in the past. Now, if you can't see this component, which out of the box, you won't be able to, you simply need to go to the lightning app builder and you need to add the my labels component onto your lightning record page. You can obviously do this anywhere that you want. And so that's something to keep in mind. But once you've done that, you'll be able to see the component on this object. So if I need to go back to my label, I can just click on the label itself. And that takes me back to this record here. What I wanna do is I wanna go back to Anna Green and I wanna show you a different way to add labels to records. Once you have this component on the lightning page, you can just click the pencil icon and then here you can just search for labels. So let's say I search for my red flag label. I can click that and I want to change it. I want to remove my green flag one and I can hit save and I can just swap them around like this. So it's really nice and easy. Another thing I want to show you is that if I go to my red flag label, you can see that under assign records, I've got three records here. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my um, label tab and I'm going to delete the red flag label. I'm just going to select it and then I'm going to delete this label. And look, nothing happened. If I go back to my uh, personal account, Anna Green, the only difference is that she no longer has that red flag label because it's being deleted. But there are no other impacts to this. So it's really easy to create and to delete labels. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take a completely different object. We're gonna to go to cases, for example. I'm gonna select this case. And here's the third way that you can add labels to records. 
you can click on the drop down menu and click edit labels. Now, of course, if you're using dynamic forms, then um, this option might not be available. But if your admin has set it up for you, then this could be one way that you can add labels to records. So you click edit label and then here you can just search for your labels. So we'll search for the near work office label and then hit save. Now in our scenario, adding a case to the near work office label doesn't quite make sense, but I just wanna show you that if we go to that label and under the record assignments list, we can see that we have a person account record and a case record. So this is really interesting because you can see records from different objects in a single view, which is kind of cool. Now, if you're thinking that this is going to be very useful and you're going to have a lot of records to add specific labels, you can do this in bulk. Simply go to the object that you want, select multiple records by checking this box here. And then on the right hand side, click assign label. Now you just have to search for the label that you want and then hit save. So if we go back to that label record, you can see we now have a lot more records here than we did before. So there is one more thing that I'd like to show you. Um, I'm gonna log in as another user now. So I'm gonna log in as a basic user and you will see that under our labels tab, just get rid of this pop-up, under our labels tab, we don't have any labels and so We've just created a couple of labels and I can't see anything under this user. Even more so, if I go to that account that we were just using, Anna Green, you can see that the account doesn't have any label related to it. Even though on the other user it did, on this user it's completely blank. And so this is exactly what I was talking about in the beginning of this video. Personal labels is personal, hence the name. It is only impacted to the user that creates the label and assigns it to specific records. And it's intended to be used that way. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of what personal labels can do and why it can be useful to your end users. Hope you liked this video. Until next time.